Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Jamie Lewis, and today we are checking out this rock bass Corvette Double Buck from Warwick. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you probably know there's only one thing I actually care about, and that is, well, what does this thing sound like? All in good time, you'll see. But before we jump in, I just want to say a big thank you to Zounds actually for loaning me this instrument. And if you want to get one for yourself, please just click on any of those links in the description. Yes, I make a very small commission on it. So thank you very much for supporting the channel. Right. Now, Warwick basses are typically known for that super clean sizzling top end, which makes it a great candidate for slap bass. And I'm really interested if these rock bass instruments can hang with their more expensive older brothers. So I'm just going to crank the top end with the onboard preamp. Let's just see what it sounds like. Okay, now I'm gonna pull in a backing track and let's see if I need to make any corrections in post. This song is called Higher and it's just from some production music that I sold for TV and film last year. Okay, now let's process this signal with a little bit of compression, which by the way is like the best friend of slap bass. And then I'm also gonna EQ out some of the more dull sounding mid-range frequencies. Let's see what that sounds like. You wanna go keep running in your own race? Got a spot right here, call it first place. If it's all fun and games, then it's okay. Okay. Okay, next up, let's try some really aggressive post-hardcore music. Think something in the vein of like The Refused or Fugazi. And what I'm looking for here is a really aggressive smack from the pick that doesn't distort and a top end that's really gonna cut through the mix and not get lost once the guitars really kick in. So let's just see where we're starting. Okay, now let's pull in the track and see if we need to do any corrective processing. This song is called State of Emergency and it's available at thebassist.net along with a fully tabbed out transcription, a bassless play along file, and also over 450 other bass lessons with me. Right. It sounds great, but I think you'll agree it is way too clean for this style of music. So let's add some overdrive and a tube amp to the signal chain. And let's see if we can't get a sound that's a bit more appropriate for this genre. There's nowhere left to run. Nothing left for you to hide from. Let you pay for everyone.
looking for an easy way to help support the channel, just look for the Amazon links that are in the description and click on one the next time you shop at Amazon. It doesn't cost you anything extra. And basically you're just taking some of that money that you were gonna give to Jeff Bezos and you can share it with me instead. Give me all your fucking money! You starting to think that this bass can only do that modern super hi-fi sound? Well, let's put that theory to the test by playing old school rhythm and blues. And I'm gonna basically favor the neck pickup and mellow out the top end a little bit. Let's just see what that sounds like. All right, next let's pull in the rest of the band and hear this bass in context just to see if we need to make any corrections in post. This song is called Well Behaved Women and it's one of my favorite songs of all time by my good friend Kellyanne Keough. Now it's definitely missing that vintage mojo that some people would say these modern active basses can't do. So let's hit it with some compression, a little bit of EQ and tape saturation to see if we can't get this bass line to, to fit the vibe of the track better. Let's just check out the sustain on this bass by playing a really simple bass line that's pretty much a dotted quarter pulse in six on a song that's kind of reminiscent of like a 1970s pop ballad. Bad at all. Let's add the track and see if we need to make any adjustments. Can't help but wonder what's happening here. What's going on with this life? When love is taboo, when I can't trust you, when it's common acceptance to cheat and to lie. But honestly, it's kind of hard to go wrong here, which is just about always a good thing. So let's just throw on an Ampeg B15 emulation with a really grabby compressor. Let's just see what that does. Can't help but wonder what's happening here. What's going on with this life? When love is taboo, when I can't trust you, when it's common acceptance to cheat and to lie. But good things happen all in good time. You'll see everything's gonna be fine. So that's what the rock bass Corvette double buck by Warwick. Now, did I say that right? Corvette double buck rock bass Warwick. Hey, it's what it sounds like. And also, thank you so much, Zounds, for loaning me this instrument. And if you want to grab one for yourself or, or any of the gear that I use in this video, just click on those links in the description. Now, this is the part of the video where I'm going to tell you all the ways that you can help me continue the work that I do here. So just skip past this if you don't think I deserve a living wage.
Now I'm sure you know this, but Patreon is a really big deal for people like me. So please come and support if you can. For as low as $5 a month, you get access to hundreds of premium videos, every episode of the Basis Podcast, and also my deep dives where I share my professional opinions and also all of my processing techniques for this base and all of the gear that I review here at the channel. Patreon, fuck yeah! And if you want to learn how to play any of the music from this video, or you just want to learn how to play bass the way that I do, then check out thebassist.net. Again, there's tabbed out transcriptions, bassless play along files, and over 450 bass lessons, including a music theory and ear training curriculum with me. Right! So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.